Welcome to the art project. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you enjoy this video, if you find it helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Share it on your favorite social media platform. That would be really helpful too. Uh, this is uh, an experiment in drawing and practice. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm combining a few different things here. Um, recently I've been watching different videos on how to draw and uh, different um, creators and just watching their processes and getting advice from some of the masters. Uh, and I can't really remember who they all were. Some of them were like um, Scott M. Fisher. Uh, some of them, uh, another one was um, Proko, uh, Stan Proko. And uh, he has a series called Droughtsman or Draftsman. And uh, him and another guy uh, just kind of talk about um, various topics regarding art. And anyway, I found a lot of them interesting. And one of the things that um, I uh, got out of one of them was speed drawing um, and it wasn't Proko I can't remember who it was right off the top of my head um, I think it was I think it was from the Proko channel anyway uh, this guy was doing a bunch of drawings and he was doing them really fast he had five minutes for each drawing um, another guy that I watched was um, Bob I think his name was Bob um, Bob Blast, or Robert Berenger, I think his name is, and uh, he, he's got a channel, Bob Blast, uh, on YouTube, and he introduces a lot of really cool, uh, just fast techniques, and one of them was drawing carrot people, and so what I'm doing here is not exactly his carrot people, but it is a take on that, uh, his carrot people were mostly standing um, and it was just like a couple of brush strokes and you automatically got the feeling that it was people so uh, or a person standing there so I decided to take his technique for making carrot people and the other guy's idea of practicing um, and doing five minute drawings and I combined that with Crokey Cafe's February 2020 uh, or any of their um, videos where they have models um, sit. They usually have them sit for a minute and then uh, two minutes and then five minutes. And so I took uh, the I took 15 different videos and just the five minute session for each one and I painted five minute paintings, little five minute um, figure drawings. Now, I am by no means an expert at this, and I don't like to necessarily talk bad about my work. I think, you know, it's fine and and all that, but figure drawing has never been really my strong suit. I'm trying to get better and learning, and as you can see here, I'm practicing. So I'm basically using the carrot people technique, I'm kind of doing a gesture drawing in a way. I'm just like um, throwing down some thick black ink. I've got a big old fat thick brush and then I've got a smaller uh, skinny brush. The thick brush um, allows me to put down huge strokes at one time or just using the tip of it I can do smaller things like uh, I can do a face, I can do an arm, I can swipe a whole body like I just did right there. Um, I can just kind of do a stick figure type thing and then I can come back and add mass to it pretty quickly using this brush and that way I was able to do five minute sketches of these figures now these are you know obviously not meant to be a uh, final drawing or anything like that uh, these are just quick gesture drawings so um, the next uh, after I used the big brush I then came back with some white ink and almost as uh, for most of them before the black even dried I started putting down uh, some highlights and that way you can kind of see the front and the back of the body you can see which direction it's facing and it's no longer just exclusively a silhouette um, this is pretty interesting and uh, it, it was fun uh, it was definitely fun and I, I really want to do some more like right now I want to just like go ahead and do some more I only did 15 because that's how many squares I could fit on this page. Uh, obviously you don't have to square off paper like I did here. Um, I made sort of a grid with a half inch in between every square. 
Every square is four inches tall, four inches wide. And that was a little bit uh, limiting. So I would start working on it, you know, and of course the first line that I make kind of sets the proportions of the whole thing. And so like you see here with the chair, uh, this third one that I'm doing, the foot goes off the bottom. A lot of them I ended up going off the square. And I didn't really want to paint outside the square. I wanted 15 squares inside the squares. So I don't know if that made any sense. Anyway, um, so for every one of these drawings that you see, um, they were five minutes each. Now I've sped them all up so you wouldn't have to watch whatever five times 15 is. Um, what is that? 30, no, I don't even know. Um, so you wouldn't have to watch that many minutes. Uh, I sped the whole thing up. Most of these have been sped up eight times their normal uh, speed. So um, I'm working, it looks like I'm working really, really fast. And I am working pretty fast. I only had five minutes. So I wasn't able to go back and do any detail. And there was a lot of them where the timer went off and I wasn't uh, done. But I just kept going. I would not kept going on the drawing, but uh, went on to the next drawing. And I found this was really uh, pretty helpful. I think that as I went on, I actually got a little bit better. This is one of my worst ones right here. I really didn't like this one. Um, I guess it's all right, but I, her face ends up looking like some kind of uh, Easter Island megalith statue. After doing uh, the um, body with the black and then the highlights with the white, um, and then letting it dry for a little bit, I went back and did the background in gray to kind of um, make the squares show up a little bit better. And just kind of gave it a quick wash in the background. Once it was dry, it's acrylic ink, so once it was dry, I could just wash over the whole thing. Uh, some places the paint was still a little bit wet and it bled or I messed it up, but that's all right, kept going. This is probably one of my favorites. I was also really bad at hitting uh, record on the camera at the same time that I would hit record or hit play on the Crokey Cafe video. So like the one where she's laying back in the chair, I didn't get any of that footage. Like I would push play on the video, but forget to record. It was a mess. So some of this I have footage for some of it. I don't, I apologize. Um, and I also had some technical difficulties. My phone kept which is what I used to record all of this on, kept heating up and making a mess and, I mean, uh, stopping, and it, it, just, it was just bad. But anyway, I managed to kind of get it all done and get it into something that I could actually post here on YouTube. And uh, if you're still watching this far, that's awesome. Thank you for watching. Um, I guess it's kind of interesting to see, you know, how some of these turn out. Some of them turned out better than others. I'm going to post the individual pictures on my Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, or if you don't, look in the description down below. There should be a link to my Instagram, and you can look these up and see up close all of the embarrassing um, mess-ups. Some of them great. Some of them not so great. But that is the... Um, that's the way practice goes, you know, and I try not to worry about that too much. I try to just like jump into it and, um, and practice. Uh, if you don't make any mistakes, then you're not really working. If you, uh, if you're going to do any work, if you're going to create anything, if anything you ever create is going to be any good, then you have to work through all of the mistakes. You have to practice, you have to learn. So... Here I am practicing and learning. And hopefully getting better. So some of these, they were sitting on chairs, leaning on chairs, or leaning on like a little pedestal. Here she was leaning on this little pedestal. And so I tried to indicate the pedestal or the chair somehow, some way. But without it taking up too much of my five-minute time. 
So again, I forgot to hit record at the beginning of this particular sketch. But you can see there I'm also indicating the railing she was leaning against. And I didn't want to go into a lot of detail on the railing. Um, this one was great until I try to tweak the face a little bit and now it looks like an old man's face on the body of a woman yep that, that's a great one there uh, this one was really cool I think I could have made her a little bit longer uh, um, I had room down there at the bottom and should have probably made the, the torso a little bit longer it doesn't look bad, but I think if you were to compare it with the photograph, she's definitely a little bit longer in the uh, abdomen area. Or I could have just scooted her down a little bit and got her hands on the um, on the paper. It was kind of fun to get her uh, legs crossed. That was uh, interesting. Um, after they dried a little bit again, I went back and kind of filled in the square uh, this big brush was great for swiping it on the side to get a big fat line or pressing down a little bit harder with the point to get a wider line or just using the very tip of it to get a skinny line which I used to indicate the chair that she's sitting in What's really uh, the, one of the difficult things about this is once you have drawn everything, which I'm essentially doing it like I would a stick figure. I'm just making these are these are really glorified stick figures, but the hard part is coming back and putting the light on it accurately. This last one was a guy pulling a rope. I'm using FW ink, uh, FW black, and FW white to do this. It's an acrylic ink. It goes on real smooth. It's uh, real fun to work with. And uh, the the background is actually just my paint water, dirty paint water. I think as I was going, it kept getting darker and darker. You know, dirtier and dirtier all the time. So here are some images of the process, the progress, um, as I went. Just stills of it that I took along the way. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can use it. Um, like I said, give yourself five minutes per drawing. You can do a drawing from anything that you want to. It can be stuff you got sitting around. Um, some uh, reference photos if you got them, uh, anything, but just give yourself five minutes. Use a fat brush to do the bulk of the picture and then um, white to do the uh, brighter side right on top of the black. Um, and then you can always go back later on and add a little bit more white uh, to uh, highlight it again because the, the, set, the first coat of white ends up being kind of translucent and gray transparent and gray anyway that's it uh, hope you like it let me know in the comments down below what you think uh, go watch croquet cafe and proco and all those other guys and, but don't don't sit there too long you need to go make some art